Jesus says, You have rejected my rule, so I'm going to take my bride. July 14, 2015 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, I'm going to get my bride because she wants me to rule over her. You see, I've struggled and struggled with this generation until they have simply proven that they don't want me. So now I'm skimming the cream off the top. I'm coming for my bride who truly longs for me. Just as I had promised my people, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This too will come to pass, the hard way, the way I never ever wanted to ordain. My people, you have made your own choices by refusing to listen to the whispers in your hearts. I have whispered, I have spoken, I have screamed, come back to me before it's too late, but in vain. So I'm leaving you to your own devices. You will see who is evil and who is good. You will no longer call good evil and evil good. Rather, you will long to see my face again and long with all your hearts to have me rule over you. That's what this is all about. My rule was not sufficient for you, so now you must suffer the consequences of your own choices. I have no other alternative. You have tied my hands. What can I do but leave you to your own devices, your own rule, until you reach the very rock bottom? Yes, it has been well said. I'm come in my Father's name, and you received me not. Another shall come in his own name, and him you will receive. That's John 5, 43. Yet a little while longer now, and you, my brides, will see me coming on the clouds. Indeed, the whole world will see, and the morning and veiling will reach to the heavens. For I will purify my people, and I will return to rule and reign among them. Until then, you will have much to suffer. Yet I will be with you, because my love for you has never grown cold. No, my heart beats out of my chest for this people. How I have longed to caress you, pour oil on your wounds, and grace your feet with fine sandals. Oh, how I flunked! Now this most painful prophecy of history must cleanse the land of the filth that has filled it until you proclaim, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Then I will take you into my arms and restore you. You will learn my ways and once again be my people, my chosen ones, to carry forth my words and my will to future generations. Until then, my people, rend your garments, don your sackcloth, pour ashes over your heads, for judgment is coming to this land. Now, when the Lord said that, I thought, wow, are you talking about America? I mean, America and Israel are so closely tied together. The nation of Israel abides in this country as well. You have only to look at those who dominate to see the vast numbers. Doctors, lawyers, politicians, entertainment. Yes, my people have excelled in every office every profession, excelled in every talent, and excelled in debauchery as well. No people are without guilt, but those who lead have the most. This has been carefully kept from the masses, who think they see only a small percentage of Jews, but in truth, they are everywhere in positions of leadership.
Well, my love, I'm coming now to take my bride, the one who hearkened to the whispers of her heart, the one who longs for me, the one who weeps at my feet for what I must suffer. Faithful has she been flying in the face of success and wealth just to embrace me. Now I extend my arm to her and together we approach the altar where our love will be declared for eternity. Lift up your eyes, my beloved ones. Soon we will embrace and soar to the celestial city where your reward awaits you. And for those who must stay behind, I say courage. I will be with you. Great will your exploits be before men, and great shall be the harvest you reap. I will never leave you or forsake you. Rather, I will equip you for this battle, and you shall take plunder for the mighty. And when I return, you shall receive your everlasting reward. <laughs>